welcome to the YKWD. I don't know, post show, after show, post after show. Post after. Um, how's who's how's everyone doing that are in the chat room? Uh, so this is our what's our fifth after show mm -hmm. we're doing here. Yeah. Awesome. We got you know the two people, uh, uh, Lauren Kubera, mm -hmm. and Oops. then Deepu Gill. You know what? Just drop the Gill. Just go with Deepu. I'm gonna pull a Modi. Just drop the last name. You gonna be gay? Is he gay? <laughs> yeah, but he's gay. Shit. <laughs> there are way too many hints that I'm gay on this podcast. Uh, yeah, all right. Well, well Deepu. It'll, it's gonna explain a lot in a second. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> we got yeah. Deepu, and we have comedian Dave Neal from LA. What's up? Hey. Hey, you guys are very good are looking you? in person, by the way. Oh, thank oh, you. I've always you watched it on the, the grainy YouTubes, but this is nice. That's you sweet of you. Oh, well, you. grainy YouTubes. Thanks. There's no graininess on, on our end. Of, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just, you know, already don't like Dave. His better hair. Better hair, and he's trashing the show. Just longer. Just longer. Oh, uh, no, it's good. You got good hair. You have me on a nicer ass. so I, can I got a lot of people on nicer ass. Yeah. All right. It's yeah. one thing I do got going on. Yeah. And then we have another special guest. Hola. Be well, we got to introduce you first. <laughs> All right. First time doing radio. Mm -hmm. uh, I understand. It's Bianca. Bianca. Do you want to give a last name or are you going to be like Deepu? No, I want my last name. She's not gay. <laughs> That's how you know. Okay. I'm also, uh, yeah, Bian Roses. Bianca like Roses? It's real. That's actually a nice name. Thank Bianca you. Bianca Roses. Yeah, I All right. Well, Shouldn't it be DeRosa? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> That's how the first date went. Anyway. Yeah, oh, all right. So, all right. So, Our Bianca is here. Stage. Let's talk about it right now. We can't do it. Bianca is here. Cause well, what, uh, so, we talked about you last week. Oh. Yeah. We, we yeah. talked about the show. show like the, the show, right. Deepu, if you guys listened to the uh, the post show last week, he did a, a blind dating show where you do stand up. It's called Tinderella. Tinderella. Yeah. At the pit. Okay. Like um, a bumble teeny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, bumble I love bumble. bumble I like it. <laughs> so, uh, you know, they had two comics. They each do uh, seven minutes of stand up. And then afterwards, we get to, like, uh, pick a Tinder or pick a date based on profiles that are shown on screen, but no picture. Hold on. Do you hear his set? I do hear his set. Okay. <laughs> and I. Did you enjoy it? It was great. It was good. It was okay. a good set. I didn't even know that I wasn't going to be on stage. I agreed to this because I thought I was going to be doing improv on stage mm -hmm. as like a blind dating contestant. So you had no idea it was a blind date? It, I, no, I guess I didn't factor in the blind part to it. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, was, what was the pitch by Max when he reached out right. to you? So the pitch what by Max, here? it was kind of just like, hey, looking for actors and improvisers, doing this um, dating game thing based off of Tinder. It's at the pit. And I was like, great, this is awesome. I get there. And he comes up to me. He's like, okay, so this is here, how it's going to go. I'm like with my friends. I had four of my friends come to an 11 p.m. show. I'm the worst. Mm -hmm. And he's like, so you're going to be backstage the whole time. And I was like, oh, yeah, like trying to play it cool in front of my friends. I was like, yeah, yeah, I knew this. That's okay, great. so you do no improv at all. I mean, there was. He basically fooled her into showing up. That's that's okay. what it sounds like. <laughs> um, he was up. like, "You want to be part of a show? You're not even gonna be on stage. You're gonna be backstage." Afterwards, yeah. But then you, you got you got a microphone, no, so yeah. you were a part I mean, of the show. It was more pressure to win, though, because I knew if I won, I'd get to go on stage. Okay, so did you win? I forgot. Yeah, we were the ones yeah. that got. She got oh, matched you up. Got, you got she was the one. Up. Yeah, She's I'm, the one. Matched I'm up on a date. Yeah. And you went on a date. No, we didn't go on a date. We talked a little bit. We talked a little bit that night. The next. So this is the first date. Yeah, kind of. This was kind of my play. In the world, this is a first date. Well, I could he said yes I way too fast, and she's like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I was going to say, like, technically our first date took place right after. We yeah, Max did buy us drinks. Okay. Right? We did get free okay. drinks. Hey, we have yeah. beers here if you want a second date right here. I'll get them. Start em. it up I'll right now. I'll get <laughs> so. You want, what do you want, three of them? How was, all right, all right Deepu, slow <laughs> yeah, down relax, a little bit. Guys. Jeez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, what, I so thought you, you were talked, What's going on? You talked a little bit after. What, what, yeah. Were there sparks? Bianca's did just you, here to prove that the story I made up last, or the story oh wasn't God. made up. Oh, my God. What did you Deepu, say? more confidence in yourself, Deepu. Yeah. Come on now. It's the jacket. So, it's killing me. The jacket looks gay. Yeah, I complimented you on the jacket. Do you, so, did you like Deepu? What's going on here? Mm. We do another match game? I think is we should it, slow it, it down. We should slow it down. <laughs> slow it down. <laughs> I, I feel tricked again. He's still doing his sales <laughs> this is the pitch second show. I'm, I'm, I'm tricked on. Um, so well, she said that she cared. She just wanted to win this competition to get on stage at the show. Okay. It, it, that was more important than, oh, this guy is really funny. All right, so you don't I want care to be about with this love, guy. obviously. Yeah, she, I, mean, I didn't even hear one of your good jokes. Someone told me after about Aziz. Oh. That just like. I that was guess like a riff I was thing. so concentrated backstage on like mm -hmm. just getting out from behind the damn yeah. wall. <laughs> yeah. What were the questions that they asked you? They asked you, and you had yeah. to choose. What were yeah, the questions? Yeah, you, um, you I had to choose from like a huge pool of questions. One of them was, uh, if you could go to any time period, 
which which one would you go to? Oh, right. Do you remember what I said? She said the future, which I think is a cop I, out. That is not what I said. What'd you wow. say? Already <laughs> arguing, guys. This date is not going well. <laughs> I'm a bad listener. No, we we you had our first f- fight on the stage. We did, yeah. That which was, uh, was I think one of my like pegs up to winning. Mm-hmm. Um, What's it about? No, I said I would go to the eighties. Do you like I threw in a Stranger oh, Things yeah. reference? I think that started to win over your heart. Mm-hmm. 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 Right, right for the nerd. Good job on that one. <laughs> Way yeah, to go. Yeah. I could hear so it. So you in said voice. that you said the '80s. I did. Okay. And do you know who? Do they do? Do they announce your name? My name? Yeah. Well, we kind of fucked it so up in the beginning. Do they? It's like if you if you're like deep who gives? It was a funny moment actually. She about might be like, I know who this guy is. No, she. Uh, I had no she, idea. Who she, I mean, obviously, <laughs> didn't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> She couldn't. She didn't have like a chance to like Google me or anything, so it wasn't like that. Right. But okay. uh, there was yeah. a funny moment where the like the I could tell the contestants backstage didn't know my name at all. Like they were just confused what was going on. And then one of them goes, "What's your name again?" And then I go to the crowd like, Shh, "It's Jacob." Oh, it got a big laugh then. So uh, <laughs> alrighty, <yeah. laughs> whatever. So how many people get paired up? One comic goes up and gets to choose of th- one of three. One of three. Yeah. So and, uh, I would do this show. I want to fucking be on this show. Yeah, yeah, what the hell? Get Laura to do this show, yeah. too. There's a, a guy comic and a girl comic. So there's and only two pairs for the... And there's three male contestants and three female contestants. Is there trading afterwards? I tried. <laughs> Trade. Tra- like if you... Tra- like, Depot. Jesus. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Right Jesus, here. we're on a comedy podcast. <laughs> this isn't the fucking Christian network. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm trying to get you laid, Depot. All right? Be honest <laughs> here. I honestly don't think it's... I don't think it's going to happen between me and Bianca. Why? 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 I just no. I just think it. No, listen. I you know we talked a little bit that night. The next day, you know, we were nice to each other. We had. I can tell he was trying. He was like, "What's your favorite food?" She was trying a little bit too. Listen, that night she had like a lot of physical contact. You know, touching the inner thigh. Oh my my god! Yeah, hell yeah! I don't know if you were drunk, but uh, I wasn't even drinking. Remember? Oh yeah, you're on the detox. You're doing terrible. I'm reading. I'm reading (laughs) you guys really hard right now, and there's some decent chemistry there. It's not like a not not gonna. That's Dave's know. LA bullshit yeah, right Dave, there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm Curb like, that positivity, you had, yeah. please. I'm, no, I'm you had a good set. Yeah. Don't worry about it, buddy. <laughs> I'm a New England guy. I'm you know she, you touched her. She didn't touch you back, but she didn't like. I didn't touch up. her. She touched no, no, me. No, just now you did this to her. Oh, so I'm like yeah. really, and then she and then she kind of opened up to you. So oh, I'm not, what's, I'm not, your, what's your background, Dave? Yeah, I, Dave does a what, talk about your podcast. By Dave, the way. Dave admitted he has a really smoke show girlfriend. Yeah, yeah I've actually seen Dave's girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. Smoke show. She's, yeah. uh, she's good so for hot. you. I'll do. A, I'll, I'll be on stage doing, st- and I can see her in the background, and just other comics are hitting on yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. Good that for sucks, you, bro. Man. We've dated for like three years now, so it's she's nice. locked up. She ain't going nowhere. Oh yeah, she's I mean, locked. and if she did, she don't. That that would be like my out. You know what I mean? Like I don't want an out, but like if like she broke my heart, I'd be like, well, I'm still a comic. Talking about sex on stage, so yeah, yeah. great hair, yeah. Gra- yeah, a lot yeah, of things yeah, going for you. <laughs> but she could out, she could, she could out fuck. I mean, like she's, like, it's like celeb, a list dudes are like trying to hit on her, and I'm like doing mics in L. A. Like it's a piece of shit. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <all right. laughs> but, Some girls you know, like the underdog. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Do you only date hot chicks, or is this like the the outlier? I've I've really outpunted my coverage. Okay. In life. I dated a, a a chick in in New York who was on all these bill. We we broke up, and then I just saw her on billboards afterwards. <laughs> That's gotta be a kick. So I've dick. had my That's heart funny. ripped open by the hot like the hotter they are. Gee, the I thought it was bad enough seeing my ex on Instagram. This guy's seen yeah. her on billboards. <laughs> I was literally <laughs> cr- like crying outside Madison Square Garden. I look up, and she's just <gasps> there in Madison Square Garden on one of the major billboards. Wow. My ex, Damn. not my current girl. And that's New York City billboards too. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's expensive. Yeah, uh, that's that's expensive. Expensive. yeah. So oh, she's killing I couldn't, it. Uh, yeah. Couldn't afford it. But what was the ad for? Um, it was like some Hispanic oh. product. I don't she's know. She's like at multi like. Cultural, yeah, she looks like <laughs> blended or ethnically uh, ambiguous. Yeah. Exactly, thank there you. you go. Yeah. Yeah. There we what go. were the other questions <laughs> that I asked you that day for that uh round? Um, it was the time period question, yeah, back or forward. Oh, what would I do without a phone? Yeah, would you? And your answer was, I think I remember this one. Um, y- your answer was, you'd find someone in the park no, and use their that phone. Was tea. <laughs> okay, well, what was Deku your answer? Again? Not doing well Deku here, oh, for two, not. <laughs> god. <laughs> um, what was my answer? Oh, 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 oh. I said I'd just use it as an excuse to, like, fall off the face of the earth and not answer anyone. And just Damn, chill the fuck that out. is the better answer. Fuck. Yeah. That is a good answer, yeah. What oh. would you do if you had no phone for a month? For a month? Mm-hmm. I, mm. Oof, Jesus, I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. I forgot the follow-up. I'm so sorry. It's okay. You can it, cut me off. I'm just a, the host. Don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> it's good. Don't it worry about it. It was a boring answer at the time, and I was trying to play into this Tinder persona I had created. Mm-hmm. So then I followed up with, but I'd miss being able to take naked pictures for my soulmate. Ah, uh, yeah. you know 
Oh, she's back in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I like her on that one. Yeah, there you yeah. go. You get I naked think that's photos. What said. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she's yeah. Back. Do you have a lot of nude photos out there? How it's do you show, can't pol- you can't police it once you start shooting one off to one guy willy nilly? I mean, there's yeah, but do you be... put that? You put? Do you put your face in the in the naked photo? No, 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 no. Did you have you to know? I'm getting naked. Wait, fo- I've ne- honestly, I swear to God, I've never sent a naked photo to anyone. You're, you are such in the minority. Yeah. I yeah. swear to Wait, God. I, I mean, it's girl. gonna happen, but no. <laughs> wow. Girls love. You get, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but girls get a high off of like getting compliments. Uh, after sending a nude photo. You know what? You know what I fucked up. You know what I fucked up recently. I told a girl to Snapchat me yeah. our naked photo, and now <laughs> she won't. They, they go with ten seconds, and I <laughs> you, you get the notification if you screenshot it. Yeah, you got to. I screenshot one of them. She's like, "What are you doing?" I was like, "Oh fuck, sorry." Nah, you need a second camera. You got to get that. I was like, you know, I you fucking I fucked up. <laughs> yeah, you fucked I'm up. I'm always gonna go with just text me one, because now yeah. with the Snapchats they go away. They can do that easily. Easily. That's what we were talking about on, on this past episode is that you once you have that, it's always ammunition to hold over that person so they don't go rogue on you. Like I mean, in the relationship. Yeah, yeah. You know? That's what Lewis was saying, but yeah. he's yeah. not. I mean, he's a scumbag. He's like have to like do uh, load yeah. up on arms. It's like not an arms race. When, yeah. You know, hopefully the chick wouldn't want to fuck you over, but, you know. Wait, there is this dating. Someone was telling me there's this dating show on MTV called She's the One. Mm-hmm. And I think they they have to go without their cell phones for like three months, but they're like trapped with it. It's like a real world thing. I want to try it. Well, that's know. what The Bachelor, that's why they go nuts. <laughs> they go they go six weeks without their phone. There's no yeah. phone, no TV, I yeah, don't think. Yeah, so they either. have to literally deal with their thoughts. Six weeks wha- isn't that bad, though. Well, just imagine going a day when the person you're dating is on a date with someone else. Imagine yeah, all, going a day being yeah. Like, and also the there's 20 girls in a house. Dude. Yeah, you'd fuck. I'd you'd fuck those bitches up. Yeah, okay. You'd no, like, yeah. Pop in the face. <laughs> you'd be like, I want to go back to Jersey where there's Guidos. <laughs> <laughs> the crippling insecurity anyone would get from those shows. Yeah, I, mean, I would be, I would be in tears. But like, st- day two. Didn't Aaron Rodgers' brother just win? Yeah. Wow. He won it. Yeah, yeah he, won he won. It. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Your buddy did a did a day. Uh, Doug did a he dating, did dating naked. naked. Yeah. Oh I yeah, shit. Dating yeah, naked dating show. Naked comic he did that and he's a I mean, he's in great shape. yeah he, I mean, oh, he looks he? he's a he look like him i would like, do it yeah. yeah he looks like me but like 20 pounds less like he's a good yeah, he's yeah, ripped yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah you gotta be beautiful to but do there's no like way that. i've done um i've done i haven't done a nude th- thing but i've been on stage with like they're almost nude and you shrivel up like that yeah no matter what yeah. i don't there's shrivel better. up by the way I, I stay hard the whole time <laughs> there's no and like so for doug there's no way you're nothing but like a, just a button on a fur coat yeah because it doesn't matter that's an awful way to meet a girl yeah yeah because girls, right. you just look good no matter what. You look naked and, yeah. and if you're hung well, though, I mean, I do oh, it. Yeah, and yeah, just yeah. you're chilling and be like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I wouldn't give a fuck if I was hung. I would, be, I would, just, I would do all those naked shows. I do naked comedy, <laughs> naked TV shows. I wouldn't give a fuck. Should do, so do it. Fucking chub up backstage at the creek and fucking do that show, man. You know what's so funny? It's I was I was watching. What was I watching? Oh, naked roast battle. Oh, where right, they did right. Skankfest, and one of the guys mm-hmm. kept like hitting his dick <laughs> on stage. <laughs> no, on, on purpose, purpose to kind of like keep uh, it like afloat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you know? I don't he... want to say the comic's oh, okay, name. Yeah. He's a fucking loser. That's the thing. Like, <laughs> uh, the adrenaline of performing. It's like your fight or flight mode. Your body's ready to run, and when it's ready to run, it yeah. just tucks its. No organs. need for hard I wish cuck. my vagina would tuck itself <laughs> yeah. in, but yeah, we do too. <laughs> 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 so back to Bianca. Where are you from, Bianca? <laughs> New Jersey. You're from Jersey. Yeah, we're are in Jersey. You? Yeah, yeah. Uh, northern New Jersey, West Me too. Orange. Oh, okay. I where grew are you up. From? I grew up near Promise. Okay. Nice. Fantastic. Mm. Uh, just jealous. And then Jersey you're a, small. You're talk. an actor. <laughs> actress. Yeah, I just actress. started. I started doing improv like a year ago, and then I quit my job to pursue acting and comedy. So you do acting and comedy full time. Congrats. Well, I am a PR freelancer. I am a babysitter. You know how it goes. She's working. Yeah. It. But She's yeah. hustling. I'm doing it. Good for you, girl. Yeah. She's got a new website open up today. I did. I launched my website today. First thing Look you remember. There you go, Deepu. Deepu. Oh, yeah. 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 First point for Deepu. Yay, one point. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's like we're at like negative five now. Yeah. But I'm curious, like how I actually – how did I actually stand with you like that day, the next day when I talked to you? Cause you were yeah, were you were you like, is he cute? Should I go out with him again? Or you were like, oh, I could just be friends with him. What was your? It was like I will be friends. What's his yeah. What's his texting game? Do you have good texting? Oh, game? we haven't even. It was so compliant. You can really earn was, some points. If no, you no I was we so not. Oh, I don't count Facebook, Facebook messages, text. How does that not count as no, text? I don't get that. That's text. Oh, yeah. that's, yeah. that's, that's that's text going back and forth. I don't count that. Yeah, a lot of girls are like that. They're like, why are you hitting on me on Instagram? Like, fucking get my number. I'm like, it's just slide texting. In the old DM. You, slide right. in, you slide in the DMs? You <laughs> I did it. You fucking dog you. Dirty <laughs> <laughs> oh. dog. You got to do what you can, man. <laughs> That's um, hilarious. I think but why a big is that? difference. I think it's like if I you're understand it, but I also don't understand it. Like, I, I see both sides of it. Okay. So, um, then I don't need so to I guess we didn't text. 
Um, no, we didn't. Um, but that night, were you attracted to me? I don't yeah. think uh, in the way that you want. Because he's Indian, right? Yeah. Is that no what it really is? I think Deep Definitely is very not. good looking. Deep very good looking, think, very bad okay. personality. Was I, I attracted don't. to you? You're funny. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, but not in the sense that I was like, oh my God. Like, yeah, it wasn't like, we got to fuck tonight. It wasn't like that. Well, like, I don't really... I see Guido. Has it ever been like that? <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, no, I don't. That was a dumb question. Uh, the but like, I just felt like it felt very like when I, I bet a lot of uh, game show like dating game show matchups feel this way. It just feels so forced. You know, like when you know because Max. Well, did you go in there like it wasn't improv, really thinking uh, this was like real? No, I wasn't thinking. Well. I mean, I was thinking, like, maybe if I play my cards right, you know, I could... I feel yeah, like this is, about like... Yes, and that pussy. That's what he was thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. I got an I... improv game that involves a yeah. dildo. And, uh, yeah. I feel uh... like that's just the dude's perspective mm -hmm. over a girl. It's like, I went in there like, oh, this is a show. This is great. Chance to be on stage, which yeah. I wasn't. Every artistic thing you do is a chance for a guy to try to get laid. That's the reason we hit the stage, all that. That's not the reason I hit the stage. I mean, that is like very, how many very dudes true. Have like tried to slide into your like DMs during your improv training. I mean, that's only reason guys do anything. Yeah, I agree. And do a lot so of you have the she has the power. So she coming like, from the two girls, do a lot of guys hit the, the DMs up? Because I never, yeah. I never Ooh, DM I a chick. Has, has a guy I ever get... said, "Oh, you got you want to do some writing sometime?" I feel like that's like you know we should work on some bits together. No, is that just my thing? No, it's not yeah, a bad, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a move, for sure. I've gotten, like, work on my accents with me, my dialects. <laughs> that was an interesting <laughs> one. <laughs> is he a dialect coach or just some random dude? <laughs> this guy on 14th Street, yeah. like, yo, girl, let me help you with your fucking dialects yeah. over here. Hey, <laughs> fucking teach you ebonics. on my face, kid. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was, like, uh, he was a foreigner. He needed help on his American accent. Oh, he needed help? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I thought you needed the help. No. Oh, okay. Uh, no. That sounds like a job. So do, uh, do random guys hit you guys up on like Facebook or something? Yeah, like I that? get like the the Instagram DMs. Well, you get stuff from the, from the podcast. Yeah, right? I get dick pics. Oh, really? She, Lauren's yeah, most is the third most Googled thing about the show. Like wow. when you put in really? in Google and we put YKWD, it's like the Twitter, the YouTube, and then Lauren. <laughs> so I people know are just know curious. The nasty things people say about <laughs> me, but yeah. yeah, but the minute someone like DMs me, I mean, I'm like, uh, this is a little like you want the sex. Yeah, this obviously. They're not, they're not texting to be your friend. Right. <laughs> Has it changed more since you've been single? Yeah. I mean, a lot of people were like, oh, I've been waiting this one out. You know. Because I, I listen religiously in Los Angeles, and I, th I m must have missed an episode because one day you're married and the yeah. next day you're single. Yeah, we kind of waited to Well, we, we, we knew yeah. in, in oh, the deep knew. insides oh, that yeah, she was yeah. going through that Devo. Yeah. We had a little team but meeting. We didn't, we didn't really want to yeah. say it out loud. We, we let it out And of then the she gate. banged her first Guido. And then she, <laughs> that was it. She was <laughs> like, I'm a whore now. <laughs> I'm back in the game. He was yeah. teaching her dialect, I think. I mean, Guido's not <laughs> my type. I'm just going to – got to stick with your type, you know? Yeah. It's just whatever works. Someone asked me my type, and I was like, I don't have a fuck. My last girlfriend yeah. was black. One before that was a blonde-haired chick. Yeah. So I don't have – But there might be a moody type, you know? It might not be a physical thing. Do you like a strong woman? Maybe you just – Like a strong black woman? Yeah, you do. I mean, I yeah. guess. I don't yeah, fucking yeah. know. I just can't stand a girl who's ap apologetic about things. Like, my girl treats me like such shit, and I love it. Like you know what I mean? Like I yeah. just like love, that. I just I, I don't want to like it, but I've always been attracted to women who are like, you won't treat me this way, blah. blah you know what I mean? That just, just sounds expensive. It. This girlfriend of yours, like you must no, be I'm just. A, fucking... I'm a poor comic. I mean, does she eat like dollar pizza? Does she handle that? Uh, yeah, she's not. We're not like a. What? We're not like a L.A. You know. Mm -hmm. Where's she from? She's from Kentucky. Kentucky. Oh, there yeah. she oh, like, yeah. She's yeah. got like, that uh, warm heart. Yeah, barbecue sort of. Deep mm -hmm. down inside, she wants to be compassionate. She wants to love. Yeah, but yeah. she's also the oldest born. Are you the oldest born? No. Okay, so oldest no. born daughters are the uh, statistically the the hardest. They're counter dependent. This They're, is me, so, so I'm yeah, listening. Yeah, so like I'm, I mean I've studied it because like wh if I say one thing, my girlfriend does the opposite. She can't take direction, note notes, advice, anything from me, and that's just because she was raised strictly by her parents. Yeah, I was and, too. And so you're probably counter dependent. So you need a good codependent person, which most comics are. They want to make someone please. So you can't have two counter dependents. It's never in the history. It's just magnets. You can't have two counter dependents. You'll run away. None of us know if she should be offended or not. <laughs> <laughs> it's I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck that means. I'm not going to lie to you. I got lost. Out. I lost <laughs> counter dependent. I was like, what the fuck is going on here? Counter preventive. You, you put those two words together. No, it's, fuck. It's dependent. So she's counter dependent. Just, she's, if, you, if you're the oldest uh, daughter, usually you were like, really, they mothered you too much. You got to dumb this down real quick. They were yeah. Okay. So, uh, so are, do you feel that like you don't l listen to people? Like, have you been in a relationship where like a guy tells you what to do and you're okay with it? 
No, but I've never been in a relationship where a guy would tell me what to do. So I guess they just get it right away. Well, that's because you've chosen that type. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. You chose the beta. That we, so you want beta no, guys. No, I can true, do beta. No, because... Oh my God! <laughs> it's just like like you just, like he's guys, going for it. You gotta, you gotta fucking give it to him. The kid's yeah. crying right here, all right? <laughs> he's throwing it to the fucking moon right here. Putting me on the spot right now. No, there's no pressure. I'm just going for the joke here. I, she no said pressure. that she likes betas. How am I gonna swing it? How am I not gonna Wait, swing uh, it? That right, man. Joke, joke was good. We love the deep <laughs> all right? Don't, don't worry about it. Whatever. It so you like a beta guy? No, I okay. Oh. I like a guy that's very like me, like outgoing and fun and talkative. Yeah, and but such. when you're like, all right, say if you're going out to dinner and, and do you choose or he's like no we're gonna go here oh no I love when guys choose and like plan the whole night and do everything I think okay that's great. so you like most girls most girls do like that they like to be yeah. they mm -hmm. ordered for they want to know that the guys try ordered it. for yeah like yeah, yeah, like, yeah. no not order for but like you like what do you want you go, <laughs> she'll have two you, whiskeys if you're like oh, no I, I want like chicken, I want chicken cutlets when the yeah, guy yeah. comes like oh she wants chicken cutlets yeah, yeah. and I want this see my last relationship I did everything I made all the rules now I just want to be fucking thrown around you know, nice. like out the window. Or, uh... Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, you, yeah, you definitely want that. Yeah, you want do, you fear, do you fear a commitment, like a guy who's like? Yeah, like I'm never gonna. Yeah, no, 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 I'm never gonna be, have like a boyfriend. I, I, like I'll just fuck around, but like I just need someone to tell me what, what to do for like a really long time. Just nice. get that out of my system. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. How, what do you mean, bedroom? What to do or life? What to do? Bedroom that? life. You know, I don't care. You don't Mark Especially Norman tried today. Yeah, what happened? Like, what happened today with that? She got up ready to kiss him too. No, I did not. What yeah. happened? She was no, pulling her tits out. It was great. No, I did not. You pull your tits no. out? Yeah. I Dude. wasn't here. You pull your tits out? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> he missed the titty. No. Uh, yeah, we were just playfully. Everyone wanted to make out with me. I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Okay. Norman goes <laughs> in for probably the most awkward kiss of all time. Did yeah. Lewis, the video Lewis, came out great. Did Lewis try to run this for? Like, did Lewis? <laughs> yeah. Just, oh, oh yeah. yeah. He oh, started yeah. the whole thing. He was the whole thing. He was jostling. Yeah. He's like, all right, they're moving in. He started doing the thing with his hands, like when he goes into hosting mode. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm talking and about? And who? Yeah. yeah. Who? Who else was trying to make out with you? Uh, that was it. Just Norman and Lewis. Yeah. We all took a pass. Well, not me, but yeah. everyone else. Okay, everyone else has girlfriends. Racine yeah. has a girlfriend. Joe has yeah, a girlfriend. girlfriend. So all right. I didn't take a pass. I uh, I'm saving myself for someone. Oh for God. This is more awkward than. It's getting <laughs> better. <laughs> getting better, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I want to call the cops right now. The kid. <laughs> Sexual harassment. It's gonna be in a blog somewhere. She fucking misled me during that show, by the way. I misled. <laughs> yeah. You. She didn't even know she was on a dating show. How the fuck <laughs> she gonna mislead you? Well, she had to send a snapshot of her Tinder profile to the producer, right? And you know, yeah, what, you yeah, know yeah. what her fucking description said? This is true. This. I mean, I don't know. What you're description say, was but. description was three letters, D T F. Ooh, girl. That's all it fucking says. Sorry. So. Fuck. All right. 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 Now yeah. the backstory that you haven't provided. <laughs> my, I ha my Tinder profile hasn't been activated in four years. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's this what everyone literally says. Literally okay. four right. years ago, I was in college and I did it as a complete joke. So I reactivated, sent it to Max, the producer, and I was like, ooh, yikes, should I change this? And he was like, no, it's perfect. Just <laughs> yeah. leave it. Still, I have no idea what the show really is. Yeah. And that's why I was going along. But then just I think about created yeah. this yeah. Perso persona with the whole naked. Yeah, that's why you chose thing. her. You saw exactly. DTF. <laughs> People was like, "Fucking yeah. yeah. yes!" Like, what does I'm that in. say about you? Yeah, the other that girl wasn't me. That was like the fake improviser on stage. Don't you love yeah, how she's judging you for her DDF profile? What does that <laughs> yeah, say about you, Deepu? Uh, Dude, listen, I had to. I had to see what. Because like, that's the thing. If I picked someone else, I wouldn't have seen what she looked like. Did I'm, you see uh, what the other girls looked like? Yeah, I saw them eventually. No, no, no. When you but not before I picked. No. Oh, so you only saw our bio. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have a good I have a good Tinder and Bumble bio. Let's what hear it. Scobo actually has the best. I have a I go my ass is better than yours, and then girls would just hit me up, be like, oh yeah, they would go either oh yeah prove it, mm -hmm. or oh yeah uh, I don't think so, mine's better or yeah. something like that. And you That's just genius. get just get into a conversation with them. That's it's yeah. so easy. They all hit me up about that. Yeah. And it's imagine like in the history of dating, you're you're like a godfather to like Tinder right now. Like that can go down as like the simplicity of that line. Has that gotten you? That's gotten you laid. I'm yeah, assuming. yeah. That's just fucking. Bumble. Should, could, don't you remember like a year like before? I I had to get laid before I had a cell phone. It's fucking miserable. Do you know like you had to like talk to people and mm -hmm. like lure them away from the sporting event you guys were at? Like mm -hmm. it would now it's so fucking easy. Do you still do you appreciate it as much? Sometimes I don't like. Like I'm on Bumble sometimes, and I'm like, I gotta get off it because I miss some, I miss people, girls like throwing it at me, not throwing it at me, but like giving me opportunities to open up, 
and I'm like, I'm just used to fucking swiping left or right. Yeah. And I don't, I'm like, oh, fuck, she was giving me an opportunity to talk. Like that one girl you're saying when you were getting pizza. I was getting and pizza, yeah. and she like, kept like, asking me questions about it, and I was like, oh, no, this, that. that. And I wasn't, like, going into it. And then yeah. she gave me, like, a wink and a smile goodbye. And I was like, fuck, oh, I <laughs> fucking had an opening right here. I didn't realize at this point. You like, would you rather take your a, a strange girl home from a club or me, or a one-nighter on Tinder? Which one's more I'd like probably a rather do the Tinder one. Really? Because... If I'm going to a club, uh, not assuming you have to buy her drinks or anything, just it. Not just even that. Thrill. Not even that. But at least I know a little bit about her before. Like you could social media stalk her. You could, yeah. yeah. I just love the thrill of like knowing you went out and like just m- pulled like your lies, got a chick home with you. It's just amazing when that can happen. Yeah, one of the, one of the last times I pulled the chick on like a, from being out was a while ago. I told the chick I was a real estate agent from San Diego. We'll worry about that later. Sorry. Um. <laughs> I'm watching you handle a stressful situation right now. <laughs> well, the the chat is saying they only recently just started saying that the audio dropped. So I think we only lost maybe like a minute, maybe two minutes. But uh, all right, no shit. Problem. Scobo Should we reenact the real estate the real bit? Estate. Yeah, I'm not in the real estate <laughs> game right now in San, in San Diego. I moved on back to New York. That's what it really. That's what I think it's gonna be. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I've, left, I've lied. I used to lie for chicks in college all the time. Well, it's just more interesting sometimes. One time I, I told a girl I was a junior in college, uh-huh. and on Facebook, you could have it has, like, where you were living in college as a freshman because uh-huh. she, she was a senior, actually. At the college. At the college, I was a junior. And then uh-huh. the next day, she hit me up on Facebook. She goes, uh, yeah, your profile says uh, East Hall, which is the freshman hall. I was like, oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm, a freshman. I'm an RA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, just, I was like, nah, I'm a freshman. Have sorry you, about that. Have you been catfished before? No, no, no. Not on Bumble that. or Tinder? No. Oh, okay. I fucked up my friend's catfish, situ- catfish situation really bad one time. Um, she was uh, she had my laptop in my room, and she was talking to a friend. She goes to the bathroom, right? And I just see an instant message on her screen, and like the person's like, oh, where are you at? And I was like, oh, Jen's in the bathroom. And then the person goes, who's Jen? And then my friend Jen comes out of the room, and she's like, uh, she sees that I talk to this person, and mm-hmm. she just goes like, Oh fuck! So I fucked up her catfish. She was catfishing. She, she was catfishing this That's dude. A oh, what a yeah. bitch though! Good thing, you Good thing you did that. Good thing I did that, but also like, you know, I shouldn't have. Fucked I up thought I was sending. Just by the name, that's not that bad of a fuck up. Jen she could have recovered. I don't know, man. I, she was pretty mad at me for like a week. So I got catfished, but I never found out who it was. And we were sending nude photos back and forth. And then she oh sent me a vi- she sent me a video, and I showed my roommate at the time. I was like, check this out. And he goes, dude. That's a porn, though. That's, like, from an amateur. So, like, my buddy, who's, like, a porn expert, knew that it was, like, a pre-made video. A porn expert? Yeah, I was like, oh, shit. That's from from 2007. I got it. You porn, 2007. July edition. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) She's a savant. Have you ever been catfished? No, Do you Do do you catfish people? I don't. Okay. We're good here. Why'd you get off Tinder? Oh, because I've never done that. Do you do that? Do you, are you on any I of the dates? I just recently bumbled. Really? A week yeah. later. I I'm just, like, I don't think, I'm not, like, I don't know. I, I don't think that's attractive to, like, try to find someone. I agree. You gotta meet someone on a dating show, you know? That's the way to do it. <laughs> well, what's your go-to, like, where would you meet a guy? What type of bar? Or, no, like, or... see, I've never, at all the guys that I've dated, I've never met. I've met, like, sober at, like. Improv class. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? One guy from improv Oh, there you go. All right. Well, come on. I relax mean, there. The odds. The odds. Was he your coach? Was he your coach? No, <laughs> the teacher. No. The he teacher. The coach. improv teacher. Aaron Glazer. Clean up. Did Aaron Glazer. Clean up. That's the actors move. and actors. I, 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 if you're in acting class. Oh yeah. I had I hooked up with two of the chicks that were in my acting class over I mean, the course of a year, and it was just like you're just there constantly, and well, like, they're the like, thing, "What's a real like, estate guy doing?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like people you go to school with are your coworkers are the people you're with all the time. Like where else mm-hmm. are you gonna meet people? Yeah, exactly. It's just it's just you're constantly with them and sometimes you're like, let's get a drink and you hang out, you talk and bullshit and they start, you know. Yeah. It's always how it goes. Mm. I think it's just, I think that's just way much way hotter to like hook up with like a classmate or a coworker because like I don't know, I just I got very little of that in high school. So I'm trying I w- to get it I'm now. all backed up. Yeah, well, you know. Well, the thing is, one person's settling out of the two. It's very rare you're both on equal terms, so someone's going to be really awkward afterwards. Mm-hmm. And that's just mm-hmm. what I like. What like what you you hooked up with an improv classmate or whatever? We and, started and, dating. Oh, okay. Well, so like, but then the class ended and you were still dating. Yeah. All right. So you didn't have that awkward like. No, 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 no. Improv game Thing. you had to play. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so you're saying you're going to be awkward with your ex? Is that if you guys break up? Did oh. you meet her in a bus? No, we met on we met on a bus. 
in the, on, in on New a York, bus on the way to a TV show. Oh, they wow. bus you when you when you work outside the city. It's like a SAG rule, so they have to pick you up on thirtieth and third if you're working in Long Island. We were working on Mildred Pierce, and she hated me. And we didn't stay in t- like we like met and like we were forced to like be together for the day, and then um, and then we just like didn't talk for years. And then I, and then when I moved to LA, I hit her up and we started dating. Why did she hate you? I was just obnoxious. She saw his hair. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> no, I was my hair was all like short and it was like 1920s. It was like your like it was 1920s <laughs> TV show. Mm-hmm. So huh. it's like you're in tuxedos with. Are you like, fucking put me down, Dave. Jesus Christ! No, it looks <laughs> good. <laughs> no, you look like you sell newspapers with that hair. It's, that's what it was. That's it was like, the LA version hey, of an kid. insult. Yeah. <laughs> Get your no. newspapers, hey, <laughs> come on. I'm trying to keep my East Coast. I'm not the uh, LA. No, but no, it. it's, uh, so yeah, we met and we sort of stayed in touch, but didn't date for a while. And then, I don't know, like one, we were friends and we it's just. It's hard to meet people. Yeah, I mean, like, but like guys, you just have to be. No, it's you, not. Yeah, it, it is. It really isn't that hard to meet well, people. Well, all right, I don't like to go out to bars and clubs. <laughs> That's out for me. I always tell guys this: you have to make as much, you have to take up as much space as possible. So, Deepu, if you're at the bar, you spread out. You, you know. need to literally, really if you're gonna up. order a drink, make <clears throat> the girl notice you and have to come up next to you. Mm. Like, wouldn't you say, like, if you yeah. wanted to talk to a guy and he's standing at the bar? I always hated when I go with my friends and we'd get a booth somewhere. How the fuck are we supposed yeah. to run into somebody? Open girls, up. Girls they are, just stand there at like at the booth, yeah, staring, staring at everyone. Yeah, yeah and you just kind of like, oh, excuse me, like, boom, oh, hey, what's up? Because I feel like girls, it, there's that three second rule. As soon as you make eye contact, you have three seconds to make a move, or she's gonna think you're a pussy if you don't. Or a creep. Or a creep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But either way, she's gonna make her decision. So make it fast. Mm-hmm. That's all. Yeah, it's like when I when I'm, uh, when I'm uh, party like mm-hmm. a, a holiday the high holiday party but like a um, summer party and yeah, everyone plays beer pong i hate playing beer pong because you can't talk to anybody yeah and you're stuck at that table for you're like stuck at the table minutes, it's like i'd rather yeah. go around and talk to people yeah. exactly. and make conversation but beer pong's a crutch for people because yeah it's like, mm-hmm. if you're not going to stare at your phone or play beer pong you're oh, doing shit, you have something to talk to yeah somebody? oh my gosh i used to tell people they'd be like oh i crushed the beer pong table i was like hey so you didn't talk to one person yeah. the rest <laughs> of the night i was the guy loser. in college, <laughs> guy in college <laughs> who just passed the beers out i sat on the beer i when i was in college Hey, sweet jigs out. I used to be. I used to sit on the keg and I used to oh, pour everyone's. Yeah. I pour uh, everyone's beer the and then you talk like to them. You had the girl right? do the keg stands like and you hold them upside down. No, I wasn't. I didn't do that. But I'd pour everyone's. Be like, oh, come back. Can you imagine done. what you're creating? So much traffic for girls to talk to you. And you're gonna. The ratio is still gonna be like one out of ten. But thirty girls have to fill their beers up, and someone's gonna like you. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the, yeah, it's just playing That's the odds right there. That's a real estate right mogul mindset you're right so there. Real estate. I know what you're I'm doing. So okay. Because you're you are, yourself. you are, you are literally taking up real estate in a physical That's way. That's right. Yeah. That if a girl likes you, you'll still have to make the move, but put yourself in the position. You, yeah, the odds are coming. We're already, we're already talking. I knew we're I could talk to you. Just talk to We're gonna go out and make just take up a lot of space. I'm actually spoken for at the moment, okay. so uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of tied up right now. So maybe next time, if you know, this next doesn't time. pan out. <laughs> next time. <laughs> right, we gotta wrap up in a bit. So, yeah. Bianca, you just saying no second date? Just friends? Don't put the pressure on her. Yeah. Don't let her fucking come on, guys. Now. That's a lot got, of pressure. I got I got all everyone judging me in the chat room. They're you know, they're, they're Dude, everyone's calling us fags anyway. That's right. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Hates me. Hates my chin. When he's got his shit in order and he's performing at all the clubs, you're going to wish you yeah. gave this guy yeah. a shot. I swear to God, you let me something go happens with guys and girls. And I'm telling you, you b- get the stock now. That's oh, all I'm yeah. saying. Buy low. Maybe yeah. that's why Buy low. <laughs> Buy low. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking housing market's on a boom. Oh, man. Yeah. Speculation is not good, by the way. <laughs> got to say. All right. We got to wrap this up. I got another spot to do. Uh, Dave. You're, what do you got going on? Um, I'm I'm at the Rogue Island Comedy Festival in Newport, Rhode Island this Friday. Um, Dan Soder is going to be there and some other fun people. Um, and my podcast, mm-hmm. Sex Actually, is on iTunes. So if you want more sex advice, I'll be yeah, on there. Yeah, you were very informed for this discussion. Check that was it out, yeah. yeah, you were very knowledgeable. Well, thanks. Mm-hmm. He's got a girlfriend, Spoken okay? <laughs> All right, yeah. you, got guy, you got a guy right here. I get, more, I get more excited getting other people laid at this point. That's do you? That Can age. you get yeah. me laid? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, <laughs> shut up. Like, it's fucking hard for you to get laid. Be quiet. I don't want to leave my house. I just want to. We can set that up. Yeah. All right. That's what fucking Bumble's for. You're <laughs> know, doing a good I job with it. it. <gasps> Bianca, what do you have going on? Any shows? Do we have a second date going on? Uh, yes. <laughs> we'll be at the, we'll be at Poke getting sushi burritos what later. What is that line? Wait, that's the place, right? Yeah, that's yeah, the that's place. It's right yeah. around here. What place? Insane. Sushi burritos. Sure. It's a new thing. Really? You wait three hours, mm-hmm. and uh, you get a big burrito that's made out of sushi. Oh, yeah, not bad. We'll go there, talk f- for you know a long time, and uh, get to know each other way too well. Mm-hmm. Get Just some spicy tuna. Just touch each other. Ooh. Yeah. Start, start Ooh. Is, it w- is it weird that he's telling us to do it? <laughs> he touched um, her yeah. shoulder. I got turned on. 
Oh, I wow. saw it. Yeah. Re- rewind the, the tape. fire in that. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yes. What do you got going on, Deepu? Anything? Plugs uh, or anything? Check out my streams, my you know my Twitter, my Instagram. Killing it on Instagram. Just joined Snapchat as well. So, oh, uh, yeah. let's be I'm Snap fine. friends, bro. Yeah, man. Well, I'm going to keep it to, uh, you know, yeah, not well, dudes. Well, fuck you too. So, uh, right. Jesus yeah. Christ. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lauren? Just at Lauren Kubera on Twitter and Insta. Instagram? When you, Insta, when's your show? Insta, uh, October 19th. Thanks for the spot. We haven't booked it yet. Oh, well, yeah, sure you haven't. No, haven't. Uh, all right, thanks, guys. Uh, <laughs> I'll be, if you're listening live, I'll be Laugh Boston this weekend. Come check that out. And October 13th, to be on Red Eye. So come check, uh, watch that at 3 o'clock in the morning. You guys are the best. Uh, see you guys soon. Peace. Bye. Bye. Bye.